One of the things that I'm looking forward to um, in visiting the home and miniature land display is being able to have the students um, take a look at the things that are there, being able to experience it, and then be able to come back to the classroom and tie that into what we're doing in the curriculum here, um, both in history and in geography, um, and also in the sciences in terms of the building that we're doing. I am most excited about um, being able to offer the opportunity from an educational standpoint an equal opportunity for all kids that are in our system to go to one location and to experience uh, visually and in a hands-on capacity uh, this amazing country. We live in such a global society and yet we often don't know about some of the things that are in our own backyard. People travel to other countries on their vacation time and often don't see things that are right around here. So being able to um, you know, learn about your own country is really, really important. And so I think this is a great opportunity for students to do that. The history of Hamilton is founded on steel defasco and Stelco years ago converted a whole waterfront it was all just swampland. They converted it all in, they filled it all in and, and, and built the, the mills on there. And, yeah. Sean Louis' idea is, is to teach people more on the history of Canada, the geography, and how everything all fits together, industry and commerce. I think the great thing about doing a three-dimensional model is it's very tangible and people get very excited and captures their attention. You know, it's probably a little bit different than opening up a book and trying to read about the history through a book. Probably the most important part of this venture is the whole education experience. Learning about Canada's history, learning about its geography, learning about its culture, learning about its famous people. You'll be able to learn how steel is made, or how a car is assembled, or even why Ontario, as an example, has nuclear power, is phasing out its coal plants, and is embracing renewable technologies such as wind and solar. People like to see where things came from, why did they happen that way. Um, I mean, if you look at old pictures of downtown Toronto, there was, you know, how did it evolve to where it is now? I mean, where the Sky Dome is, or the Rogers Centre, for instance, it used to be where CN had their main locomotive facility. Um, so I mean, you look at pictures then, you look at pictures now, wow, what a change. To, to bring a miniature version of first a, a local community to a provincial scale to a national scale is absolutely phenomenal. Just being able to um, see some of the different buildings, some of the different um, geography features and landforms, um, to be able to see that on a small scale and, uh, and then to be able to come back to the classroom and then be able to talk about it, them having experienced it is really, really